What's the advice for Rabi'il Awwal? And the Rabi'il Awwal should, should be spent, just like, like life should be spent, in sort of increasing in our proximity to the Prophet and first and foremost, knowledge. So increasing our knowledge of the Prophet Our knowledge is increased through studying his life, through studying his shama'il, through studying his shama'il, meaning his attributes, his qualities, through studying his khasais, his sort of elect and differentiating qualities, through studying his law, his sharia, that which he sort of came with, and he moved heaven and earth for, sallallahu alayhi and on the basis of knowledge of the Prophet thereby we can begin to increase in our love of the Prophet Knowledge then it always leads to love, okay? And without that, we should always be in awe of the Prophet Because the minimal engagement of the Prophet should render us awestruck, Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib in Tidmidhi says. But then when we begin to increase our knowledge that awe, although awe never depletes, you're always gonna have awe of the Rasul but it also bequeaths love. And so we want to increase in love through knowledge of the Prophet Love, love of the Rasul Love of the Rasul it has ma'alim. It has great signs. And so you find yourself, يعني, most of all, trying to be like him. It is the greatest signs of love. And the more love grows in the heart of a person for the Prophet the more they begin to imitate the Prophet and that which he came with in very peculiar things even, uh, peculiar things, they'll imitate him in Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until from a perspective you have people who are Muhammad in the nature, I mean, mean imitation, we mean not just outwardly imitate the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but also inwardly imitate the Rasul, pleading to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for outward imitation and inward realization of that which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with. This is the Rabi'ah, okay, remember this is every month, it should be, Okay, but Rabi' is a time of tajaddud, of bringing that to life. That's why Rabi' means spring. Uh, so Rabi' in Arabic language means spring, that which is sort of brought to life. And so we want to bring to life our knowledge and our love and our attachment and inculcation of, what, of the qualities of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.